desire. Desire represents reality or a belief. <laughs> Which I are we representing? Does that I need belief? The false I needs belief. Only a concept needs your belief. Only a notion needs your belief. I have to do this often, isn't it? Can you believe this glass? You can only believe a concept about it. You can believe the label glass. Glass is glass. Without glass also, it just is. Whatever is, is. So the truth does not need belief. If you wanted a concept about it, go oh, wherever the glass made it. It was made in somewhere, <laughs> then that would need your belief. Even the perceptual realm does not need our belief. Even that which is perceived doesn't need our belief. I don't need to believe a coconut is a coconut to, to drink from it. <laughs> it's already perceived. A child knows how to drink from the milk bottle. Does it have a concept? Oh, that has milk in it, so I'll drink from it. Instinct. This, rather than saying instinct, we can say there is a supreme intelligence already which is running this world. We have relied on our belief system for too long to try and pretend to run our life. What is the source of all of this? That must be knowing all of this. God does not need any, to believe anything to run this world, to run this life. So that's why I said all confusion is only confusion about I. Once you see that consciousness is another, just an aspect of you, How you see this? Just by remaining in the I don't know. 